in this tutorial we are going to talk about google cloud platform and we are going to talk about the storage service of google cloud platform that is gcp so these are the steps we are going to perform from scratch we are having no idea we will consider this and we will start everything from the scratch so first we will create a bucket on gcp and it will be a storage engine then we will create a java spring boot application it will be a microservice and through microservice we will push our local file to the google cloud platform storage so this will be done through our code and then again we will create an api which will read the details from google cloud platform to our local machine so it will be a kind of crowd operation to the google cloud platform and we will see the details of the storage service provided by gcp through all our process through microservice so steps that is first step we are going to perform that is creation of storage bucket we'll go to the first link of gcp and in this we'll do the login and after doing login we'll such kind of screen will come to ask us for the billing as you can see 300 dollar credit is already provided to us and 90 days are free so or our some poc so we will provide the details and after that in parallel we will download the gcp sdk to our local machine as you can see i'll scroll down a little bit and install this google cloud sdk and when i'll go to this learn more i will see the link to download google sdk installer that is the point number one i'll click on this and install this after downloading install this in our local machine so i'll click on this cloud sdk installer i'll click on save click on view downloads and install this on my local machine so these are being installed i just fast forwarded it because these are the minor steps only after this your gcp platform will be installed on your local machine and finally it will ask you to do the login through some browser and you need to allow after doing login through your email id and password and then your project will be ready so here you need to enable this a uh, project by allowing enable billing so you don't need to bother about the minor changes because you have already been provided 300 dollar so just through my billing account you just need to enable the billing and then you need to create the bucket here that is the storage bucket so click on create provide the name of your bucket here i am providing play hyphen java these are the reasons and storage capacity you don't need to change anything these are just the default one just click on create we are doing a poc so our bucket will be created c play java has been created and no files are there inside this bucket right now so we have created our bucket now we are going to point number two to create a microservice so here in my eclipse i am going to file and click on new spring starter project to start our spring boot application you can do this by springs start.spring.io also through browser you can do that here i am providing the name and gcp storage hyphen demo you can see sleuth are written everywhere this is the the previous tutorial which i had created about spring cloud sleuth you can check it on my channel this is the, just the previous tutorial before this so gcp storage in spring boot is the main project and here i need web to create an api and second i need gcp storage so you can see here gcp storage is available click on next and click on finish so our project is about to ready it is ready now i'll go to the main file just to check that spring boot application has been created so as you can see let's go to the pom file in the pom file i'll show you the dependencies see the dependencies are cloud dependencies of spring and gcp dependencies so these are provided also there might be a storage dependency of gcp see this is the cloud storage gcp so after this let's go to the main file i'll go to the main new google cloud storage demo application this is our main file here i am going to create a controller i'll go to the new create a class i'll just provide the name as gcp storage and demo 
GCP storage demo and click on finish. Here I need to annotate it with rest controller and also request mapping for our default URL. And the request mapping I'll provide this GCP only. This will be the starting URL. These are the default, you can say annotations of Spring, but this storage part is coming from the Google API, as you can see from the import. Now I'm going to provide get mapping, though it's a post mapping because we are going to put something on the cloud, but here I'm just providing as a get mapping, I'll get the string data. So in the get mapping, I'll provide send data as a URL. And after this, I will just provide the method public and I will be returning a string and I'll just name as get or here I'm sending so send data. Now in the send data I am going to provide the two things that is blob ID and blob info. These are required for storing data on the cloud. As you can see the blob is from cloud only Google Cloud import. So in the blob ID I need to provide the bucket name and name of the file. So bucket name I'm providing play Java name. I'm going to provide the name of the file, which I'm having. So here I'll create a file. I'll in the resource folder. I'll just name the file as let's provide the name as file demo file. Click on finish. I'll provide some details here so that this file won't be empty and be having something. So demo for GCP storage by play Java I have written and this will be printed whenever I'll call the details of the file. And the name part, I'll simply provide the name of this demo file at demo file dot text dot txt. So I provided my ID. Now after providing ID, I need to provide the info. That is the blob info. This is also coming from the storage of Google. So Google Cloud is providing blob info. I am going to provide the info by providing blob info dot new builder and I'll build the blob. So blob ID, I need to provide the ID and after this we need to provide dot build. So it will build a blob info. And after providing blob ID and blob info, I'm going to provide the file detail. So file, I'll import this file from java.io and provide the details as, see this file is coming from java.io and file, I'll provide this as file, just a file path name and all. So here in the path name, I'm going to provide the path of the file and the name of the file. This will be the path and this is the file name. So let me put the file in the D drive. And after this, I am going to get the byte array of this file. So through Java functions, files dot read all bytes and provide the path. Here simply I'm going to provide the path dot get and the file which I'm having, I simply need to provide that file name. So file dot, this path is coming. And after this, I'm going to provide the file info. So it will be file dot to URI. So this I need to import. So we have provided the byte array and it will throw an exception. So I provided throws IO exception. Now in the storage, I'm going to create a storage and in the storage, which I've created on GCP, I'll simply provide the name of that storage and the options to put it in there. So info is having the storage details and the array is basically the file array. So now our API is created. Now let me run the application, Spring Boot application. And as you can see, it has started on port number 8082 with send data and GCP. So I'll put localhost send data GCP. See, I have hit it. I'm getting the file details. In the bucket, I'll do a refresh. See, just after the refresh, you can see the file is there. So when I go to the file, I can see a URL has been provided for that file. And when I'll click that URL, 
I'll see the details of the file there. Let me open in some other browser. See, demo from GCP storage by Play Java. So this is what we have done. So we have created a bucket on GCP storage engine. We have created a Spring Boot microservice and we have created an API that is the third point to push our local file to GCP storage. So we have pushed our demo file to the storage engine. This is done and this is also done. Now next part, I'm going to create an API to fetch the details, not from our local machine, but from the Google Cloud platform and to the storage engine only. Let me clear everything. Let me expand it. Let me copy this part and just paste it here for another API, which will be not sending, but it will be getting the data. So get data and this will be get also. And now here I'm going to remove this extra part because I don't require that. And simply I'll call the storage and get the details. So here I'm providing string buffer. I'll be building the string whatever the file contains in the string buffer and just reading out the details of the file. So I'm going to try with resource and in this I'm going to provide resource so that read channel and channel I'll provide. If you're using Java 8 then it may create problem for Java 7 it will simply come. Just the JDK you need to change to Java 7. So resource channel equals channel storage dot read blob. Cut. In the blob, I need to provide the details of the blob. That is this storage. So I'm simply going to copy the whole part because the options is also that file only. So I'm going to paste this here. And it will ask me to change the Java version from eight to seven. I simply change the Java version 7 to, to 7. So after changing this error will go away and then we will read the details of the file. So let's change the Java version. I'll click on it and it will be changed. So as you can see, we have provided all the dependencies. We have read channel, this coming from Java and change this version to Java 7. And after this, I'm going to read the details from this channel. For that, I'm going to provide a while loop until the size of the while channel is not greater than the bytes which we have provided. So here I'm going to provide the bytes. And for providing the bytes, I need to create the byte. Just before the while loop, I'm going to provide the byte and it will be buffer byte, not the buffer byte, but it was bytes buffer, which I remember. So it will be a bytes buffer and I'll just provide bytes buffer as bytes, which I provided in the channel dot read equals bytes dot byte. It won't be byte, but it will be byte buffer. And inside this byte buffer, I'm going to allocate capacity current. And the capacity will be in the form of 64 into 1024, let it be, just for our analysis. And in this, I'm going to check whether the bytes dot array, bytes dot flip, and string I'm going to get it as data and this string data will be nothing but new string and this string will be having this bytes which I have just got it and it will form an array and it will be starting from zero till the bytes which are there and we'll fetch the limit of that byte. And in this way, we will get the data and I will append this string to the string buffer. So I'll append as p, put it as sp. So this sp dot append data will be appended and we'll get the string buffer. 
after that i need to just clear the bytes so i will write bytes dot clear so everything will be done i need to check it, it to be greater than zero and till now we have everything and we will simply return this string buffer as string only sp dot to string so we have got our api that is the second api where we are not only fetching the details from local machine but we are getting details from the storage of play hyphen java through the demo file dot txt you can see from the string buffer has been created we are editing data in the form of bytes limit here from the storage we are getting the channel and appending it to string buffer and returning to the user now i'm going to run a spring boot application let me provide some more details here so that it will be clear that this is coming from here only put a space from gcp cloud i'll print let the fb caps so run as spring boot application so simply i need to put get data here in place of send data as you can see our tomcat has started at port number 8082 now i'm going to call the other api in place of send data i'll simply put get data and hit enter after hitting enter it is waiting and getting data from cloud see gcp from cloud has came with the details of the file as you can see we have created this inside our api to fetch details from the cloud so we have done our fourth part also created an api to fetch details from the cloud storage so this was coming from the cloud so this was about the complete cloud operation we have started from our scratch by creating storage on the cloud we have got our details after this you need you can delete all these buckets because it will be chargeable so you need to delete this bucket this project also if you want uh, these are uh, charged on the basis of compute so you don't need to bother about so this was about the getting details from the cloud gcp cloud so we have created a storage bucket we have created a microservice we have put our file on the storage and we have received our details from the cloud this was the total cloud operation so hope you liked it thank you all for watching this video